Thank you. January 6, 2021 will be a day many in our area will remember forever, recounting where we were as that attack unfolded. And that's especially true for people who live and work near the Capitol. News for us, Shamari Stone shares some of their stories and the traumatic impact they felt long after that day. It was a year ago when rioters took over the U.S. Capitol. Some people who live and work near here tell me they still are shaken by what happened. It certainly is a haunting memory. Laura Kells works near the U.S. Capitol. We talked to her about the one year anniversary of the insurrection. USA, open that door. I mean, I never would have imagined such a thing could have happened. I mean, I work here. I walk by it every day. I, you know, I see the Capitol Police all the time. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. I was standing near the Senate side of the Capitol when the pro-Trump mob arrived a year ago. The far-right extremists and Trump supporters have broken down the barrier here as they move towards the U.S. Capitol. They stormed up the stairs, angry after the president's false claims that the 2020 presidential election was stolen from him. USA! USA! People here tell me that this is the people's house and they want to get inside. They fought their way inside and battled with Capitol Police. It's definitely somber. I only live about a mile away. Merrill Winslow is still in shock. This could happen in this day and age um, was really upsetting. Never expected it, and I was just can't believe that it would such a thing would happen. Now, a far right group is planning a candlelight vigil on the one year anniversary of the insurrection at the Central Detention Facility in Southeast D.C. That's going to happen on Thursday evening. I'm Shamari Stone by the Capitol News 4. Some of the people arrested are at the jail Shamari just mentioned. More than 725 arrests have been made in connection with that riot. 70 of those people have been convicted with 31 sentenced to jail time so far. We'll be working for you all day tomorrow covering every angle from the Capitol. Our live local coverage begins at 4 a.m. Then we hope you'll stay with us throughout the day for President Biden's address, moments of silence and reaction. You can also stream our coverage wherever you are at NBCWashington.com.